Good morning. This is Artie, the Vintage Stitcher. I am so happy that you are here with me today. Today is, we're in my kitchen. <laughs> we're never ever here. <laughs> and I spend as little time in my kitchen as I possibly can. <laughs> anyway, so today is going to be a little bit different tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you how I wash a stitch piece. All right. This is very controversial. This uh, is probably going to like set the internet of a flame, that sort of thing. Everybody's got their own way of doing it. There is no right or wrong way of doing washing your piece. Okay. Some people wash, some people don't. Some people, you know, use steam, some people don't. It's, it's all a personal preference. And it's a, totally up to you. This is what I do. If I have a cross stitch piece that's relatively small and I haven't had my hands on it for a very, you know, a real lengthy amount of time, I don't wash it. Um, if I'm using over dyed threads, I do not wash it. If I'm doing hand dyed fabric, I don't wash it. Okay. Those are things that tend to make, tend to run the colors tend to run out of them and bleed onto other things. So you kind of have to use your common sense there. But now, like my um, farmhouse Christmas that I did is a relatively large piece. I It's on just Ada and I use DMC floss and it's been in the hoop for months. It took me four months to, to do that. Even though I wash my hands and my hands are clean, there's still, there's dust settling, there's stuff settling, there's stuff on your hands, there's residue, that sort of thing. It's probably gonna get a dip in the water. That's just my personal preference, all right? So what I have today is, I have my embroidered piece. I finished it up, okay? And this has the trace lines on it. You can kind of see all those black lines. Um, we want to get rid of those and the company had said that um, if you dip this in water it's going to get rid of it also I have a little stain so I'm hoping to kind of get rid of that too um, if I can't get rid of that I might have to tea dye it or coffee dye it just to get it to blend in a little bit better which I'm I'm okay with um, but I have a feeling it, it'll probably come out. It'll probably be just fine. So I've had my hands on this quite a bit and it's been kind of, it's been around, it's been in the truck, it's been kind of all over the place. So here's all I use. I'm going to adjust the camera down just a little bit so you can kind of see, see my setup. It's just my kitchen sink, okay? So I have a clean, dry towel and I, I, I fold it so that it's the, you know, relatively the size of my stitched piece like this. Okay. I use a little bit of Dawn dish soap. It's pretty gentle on, on stuff like this. If you're worried, go ahead and just use a dab of your laundry soap or maybe some wool light, um, something to that effect. But I have always used a Dawn dish soap. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of soap and I'm going to apply it directly on that stain. No, oh, that's not working. I'm going to pause. Shout. Stain, a stain remover. And I'm just going to spray a little bit onto that spot. Okay. And I'm going to kind of just rub that in. I'm going to try and avoid any uh, floss, okay, but I'm just kind of rubbing that in both sides. It's kind of going through. It might be okay. Kind of work that into the fibers a little bit, all right? I can already see that stain kind of lifting. Okay, so we're going to let that sit for a second. All I have in here is just lukewarm water. Towards the coolish side. Warm water, a little bit of soap, okay? And one, two, three, and it goes. And in it goes. And 
and I kind of just give it, I don't wring it, I don't squish it, I just kind of Yep, and all those lines are disappearing. Okay. And you're gonna be amazed at how, really how dirty your fabric is. Okay. All right. So all my blue and black lines disappeared. Look at how pretty that looks. I'm gonna bring this over. Look how pretty all those lines disappeared. Um, it looks like my stain came out pretty well too. Okay, then what I do is I run my coolish warm water and I just kind of let the water run over it. Okay. And through it and I just kind of work it in sections letting the soapy water kind of rinse down all right all right again oh here's some soap on the back too make sure you do the back you don't want that soap to sit in there it will fade your, it will fade your, um, your threads. You don't want that. Okay. So here's what I do. I do not wring my fabric. All right. This is what I have this fold for. I kind of just take it like this. And I lay it out and I roll it. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? I roll it in there and kind of squeeze the fabric or squeeze the towel so that it is getting some of the moisture out. You're not going to get all the moisture out. It has to it has to air dry, all right? All right. And then you're going to have a piece that looks like this. And you're like, "Holy moly, that's a lot of wrinkles." <laughs> But look how beautiful it turned out. It looks like my stain came out too. It it turned out really, really pretty. Okay. And especially with your embroidery, you don't want to like flatten. You don't want to wring this and flatten in everything. You have all these French knots and all these textures that you work so hard to stitch on it. But this really did absorb a lot of the um the water okay so then what i do is i come back here and i find kind of a flat spot and with my hands i flatten it out on my towel okay can you kind of see what i'm doing let's bring this in just a touch so i'm bringing this in and I'm flattening it out on my towel. Now I'm going to take some pins. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pin those corners. All right, I'm going to drop some pins along those corners. And kind of, so that kind of holds it in place. Can you see what I'm doing? I know my angle is not great. My kitchen is super tiny. We have, um, you think we would have bought a house with a big kitchen, having five kids in the house, but we didn't. We bought a big house or bigger house with um, a tiny kitchen. And my thought on that was when I'm in the kitchen, I don't want anybody bugging me. So. Too many butts in the kitchen is never a good thing. So a small kitchen kind of keeps that at bay. All right, so this is how I've got it pinned to the towel, okay? I am going to let that air dry. And then when it is dry, I'm going to come back and I'm going to press it. 
and I'm going to press it right on this towel because some of the moisture is going to be still left in this towel. And that is going to, so I don't have to bring up a lot of steam on my, um, let me bring the camera up a little bit. That's going to, um, the moisture in the towel is going to release back into it so, from the bottom up. So I'm not going to have to add a lot of steam to it. So what I'll do is I'll dry press it here and then I will flip it over and then I will press it again on the opposite side. And that should take care of any of the wrinkles that it may have. Now see, I've got a couple, couple little pieces of floss that want to go cattywampus on me. Just take your pins, pin them back in place. They'll dry. You have to remember that fiber has a memory. And once you wash it and heat set it, it's going to stay where you put it. So if you have something that's just kind of off and you're like, hmm, how am I going to get that to be back in place? Just pin it. And then as it dries, that it's going to create that memory and that fiber and that thread, okay? And it's going to stay where it's at. Then when you come back and you press it with heat, that's going to set that that memory on that fiber and it will stay where you put it so we're going to let this dry it's probably going to sit here most of the day completely untouched and then i will press it and clean it up and get it ready to put into a project when it's all done but that basically is how i go about washing and blocking any of my projects it's really fast it's really simple it does not need to be a long drawn out process. Now, a lot of times what I'll do is I will do a ton of projects. If I've got like 10 projects that have been sitting and need to be washed, I'll do them all at once and have them laid flat out on towels like this. Um, and it kind of just, you know, then they're all said and done. But real simple, real easy. Um, I hope you learned something today. And if you're loving the daily videos, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know if you're new here. Let me know if you've been a longtime viewer. Love to hear from you. When you're out and about in the world, please be kind. Spread love and find peace.